Let's cross live now to Rome and join my colleague there, Karen Giannoni. Karen. Lucy, thanks very much. Well, there is a sense of uh, urgency, a sense of acceleration here in Rome over the last few hours. This president, as you say, has stepped in to try to give some reassurance, reassurance that the political changes that will be coming about will happen quickly here in Rome. Uh, he said that that vote that to Silvio Berlusconi, that the package that needs to be passed, uh, after which Silvio Berlusconi will resign, will be passed in the next few days. Now, we're hearing talk of special sittings over the weekend. Uh, if the, the bill itself has arrived in the Senate now, and that process will start. The Senate is the upper house just over there. Behind me is the lower house of Parliament. That will be the next stage of its journey. Well, with me is one MP from Silvio Berlusconi's party, Deborah Bergamini. Um, Deborah Bergamini, just tell us what the latest is in terms of the progression of this, this bill, this austerity package, and, and what this will mean in a time scale for Silvio Berlusconi. Well, uh, you were saying that w there is an acceleration, and that is obviously true. We know very well, and the reaction of the markets uh, today proved that the, the question was not around the personal credibility of Mr. Berlusconi, who decided to resign uh, just after the, the bill will be passed. The question is about speculation and an attack, a speculative attack on Italy that has been going on because speculation where, goes where money is and there is still money in Italy. Now, what we are going to do? We are going to pass the austerity bill as soon as possible. We will be voting on a special session on Saturday and probably Sunday uh, in order then to have Mr. Berlusconi uh, resign and then let's see what will happen. Nobody knows uh, for the time being. There are two options. One is uh, the one that Mr. Berlusconi has been asking asking for, which is going to elections as soon as possible. Uh, the other option is trying to set up a sort of open government or technical government, government yes. that uh, is able to carry out all the plan of reforms that has been promised to the uh, European institutions. Mr. Berlusconi has had to attach his political uh, future to this bill to get it passed. I mean, he has today given some certainty. He said he will not stand in a future election. And, and, can we take that at face value? This uh, is the uh, end. Absolutely. For him. I mean, I think that's been uh, an extremely noble proof of uh, him being a statesman. Uh, the, the funny thing, and it's not funny at all, it's a very bad thing, is that uh, the impossibility uh, for him, although his majority was confirmed in elections last year, uh, the impossibility of uh, going ahead with the reforms required for him to step back in order to have those reforms uh, being done. And this gives you the idea of what has been going on in the last few years uh, for his government. Deborah Bergamini from the PDL, uh, Mr Berlusconi's party. Thank you very much indeed. That's back to you, Lucy, in London. Karen, thanks for joining us from Rome. You're watching BBC World News. I'm Lucy Hawkins. Do stay with us. Still to come.